Hey everybody, it's Mark Cantor again, and here I am sitting in my backyard enjoying the weather, and what a world we live in. You know, Google's buying Motorola, and all these rich people are about to get taxed more. You know, when Warren Buffett starts saying he wants to pay more taxes, something tells me there's more taxes are going to get paid. But at the same time, no one's really figured out what a, how to create jobs. It's because they don't really understand what jobs are nowadays. Nobody works, goes to the office. Clearly the job of the future is working at home, being virtual, uh, part-time project-based kind of thing where you're independent, you issue your own invoices, you track down your payments, you are your own HR department health plan thing. Nobody's going to be doing these 40-hour work week kind of things. We do 60, 80 hours of work. That's what we do. That's what we call work. That's the job of the future. My tomatoes are happening. Clearly we're getting some work done out here in this garden. And at the same time, the farm workers are a migratory kind of business which drives the immigration realities. And when are we going to understand that immigration is needed to create our new economy? That it's the immigrants that are going to repopulate these abandoned cities that we have here in the Rust Belt. It's the immigrants who start the new companies, who take the risks, who understand the pure spirit of what it means to be an American. This is what's been lost in our country, the work ethic. You know, most Americans, what, they average two, three hours of work a day? Well, none of us are surprised at that. We know how lazy Americans are. And it's the immigrants that come in and instill us with the new energy. One of the things we have to do is to connect the black American population to the immigrants. This is a key formula that I think will really bring us success. This is exactly what the right wing doesn't want us to do, is to have us work together along with the Hispanics and the Chicanos and the Indians and the Chinese, uniting immigrants with the poor and the unemployed in our country will be the real power base that hopefully Mr. Obama will be able to figure out. You see, I live in an urban environment where the apartment buildings and the urban farms mix in with the countryside and the suburbs to create this unique blend. We call it Shaker Square. And here the activism of the people in the downtrodden Rust Belt City is going to be born around the merging of the immigrants with the new kind of jobs to connect together to create the kind of power and empowerment that social media can bring us. This is what this whole revolution is about, is to try to get the people to work together, to reach out to the community communities and show them the value of online technology. Most of these groups have websites, but they don't know how to update them. None of them understand the power of wikis and to build knowledge bases, how to use mail lists and social media to achieve their goals. This is what our project is all about, is to create jobs and to empower people over time so they can do the fishing. Look, I always want to bring it back to the technology. It's the battle of man versus machine, where the humans forge the art and the craft of technology to create their tools and their content, to offer their services. But we have to have better tools. Those tools have to be in the hands of the right people. That, that technology, when combined with the people, equals community activism, which can create revolution. That's what software is about, not making money. Oh.